Hey, welcome to Sipper Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I am doing a cigar and bourbon comparison. Buffalo Trace has a cigar out. You see this more and more times with bourbon companies, especially Buffalo Trace. They reach out to cigar makers, have them blend something that complements their bourbon well. Um, I did one of these before with Pappy Van Winkle cigar made by Drew Estate and the Pappy Van Winkle 15. And now, thanks to a very generous co-worker of mine, Mike, he was kind enough to give me a Buffalo Trace cigar and lend me his Buffalo Trace bourbon. So first, let's talk the bourbon. Everyone knows Buffalo Trace coming in at 45% ABV. It uses mash bill number one, which is Buffalo Trace's low rye mash bill. Really quick on the nose, what do we get? Well, it's bourbon, right? This is like the almost definition uh, bourbon, in my opinion. You get the basic five notes. Cherry, oak, vanilla, caramel, brown sugar. You find these five notes a lot in bourbons. They kind of carry over and a lot of different things. When you're nosing and tasting bourbons, I get those notes quite often. This one also maybe a little bit of cinnamon, nice spiciness to it. Not overly complex. I think that's one thing about Buffalo Trace. And you know, this bourbon is priced at like an entry level. I'm gonna talk about price in a second. So I say here, you're getting a little bit of like a youthful oak note, not too off-putting at all. Let's try palate. So a lot of those things that I got on the nose all carry over to the palate. I say that the cherry kind of note, getting like a cherry cola aspect to this. The vanilla, I would say this is more kind of like an artificial-ish vanilla extract um, versus like a pure vanilla extract. But overall, I think it's pretty solid. I think this is actually a pretty okay bourbon. Not overly complex, not gonna blow you away. Drinkable. For what you do get, like you know those basic five bourbon flavors, I say they're all pretty good in here. And like I said before, I think this is kind of like a benchmark of entry level bourbons. Um, price point on this, not too bad. I think in the US you're finding this for around $25. Here in Ontario, I think they charge around 45, 42, something like that. It's a little bit more uh, than they would charge me in the US, but I'm sure people can find this thing on sale in the US, 20 bucks, probably no problem at all. So I think for that price point, yeah, I mean, this is this is actually pretty solid. I'm gonna give it an 80 out of 100. I didn't think I would be scoring it into the 80s, but it is a very solid bourbon. Not one that I normally reach for, um, but again, just basic and solid. All right, let's talk the cigar. So a lot of interesting things coming in here. Dominican made, but has an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, barrel aged Nicaraguan filler in a Brazilian binder. So I did this a little while ago, nice fall day outside, beautiful day to have a cigar and bourbon pairing. So on first light, really impressed with the cigar. Nice earthy leather notes, a little bit of sweetness, some vanilla in there, some nuttiness. And immediately I was reminded of cigar that I had smoked before, one that I really, really enjoyed. And that was the My Father the Judge. And when I looked it up, I realized that they both share a similar wrapper, the Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. Really nice, bold flavors coming from that. And this thing was burning perfectly. Absolutely very impressed with the cigar, a lot. All right, so how did it pair with the bourbon? I would say that I got a little more dry oak, which I didn't love with the bourbon, but I did get more spice, which I really did like. And I thought the sweetness worked really well. That's one thing that I do enjoy about whiskey and cigar pairings, a nice sweet uh, style of whiskey, bourbon, uh, sherry scotch, something like that does complement the cigar very, very well in my experience. So yeah, really nice smoke output, construction, really, really nice. So I'd say overall that the cigar was kind of overpowering the bourbon. I thought that maybe the, you know, the finish on this bourbon is a little thin, it's a little light, you know, 45% ABV, Seems like the absolute minimum you'd want in a bourbon. This cigar pairing called for a stronger, more bold bourbon. So I ended up reaching for a different bourbon and what better one than Stag Jr. This is batch 13, one of my favorite batches. This really did complement the cigar very well. Like I said, bolder cigar, maybe a bolder uh, spirit would definitely work well with it. I absolutely love this batch of Stag Jr. And it did absolutely complement the cigar very, very well. Also uses Buffalo Trace mash bill number one. This Buffalo Trace cigar, what a great cigar this was. Uh, very, very impressed. Perfect construction, perfect burn, um, smoke output really, really good. Flavor is nice and bold, little transition, maybe halfway through a little more spice, and it paired very, very well with this uh, Stag Jr. I immediately stopped drinking the Buffalo Trace. I was like, this is not working for me. This is where it's at. Um, and really enjoyed myself. What an amazing pairing. That cigar, if you 
are a fan of my father, especially my father, the judge, which is a great cigar. You're gonna absolutely love this. This cigar, um, I mean, I prefer it to the Pappy Van Winkle cigar made by Drew Estate. Can't say enough good things about the cigar. Very, very good. About $7.50 for the Toro size. Absolutely highly recommend it. I think it pairs well with the cast strength, barrel proof bourbon, like this one, something nice and sweet. Yeah, so like my final verdict, I would say, um, you know, Buffalo Trace, it is what it is for the price point. I think it's it, it's a solid bourbon. Like I said, I scored it 80. I thought that's a very good score. I did not think I would be scoring it that high. The cigar, you know, it's tops. It's, it's a really great cigar, highly recommend it. I would definitely um, look to be getting some more of those. And if you're gonna be pairing it with a bourbon, you know, these are hard to find, but something like, Anything like a cast strength, barrel proof bourbon that's nice and sweet and that you enjoy, I think is going to pair well with that cigar. So there you have it, the Buffalo Trace cigar, highly recommend, uh, just don't pair it with, with this bottle, uh, something more bold is the way to go. Let me know in the comments down below, are you a Buffalo Trace fan and if so, what does this go for in your area? Uh, if you're a cigar smoker, have you tried pairing anything? with this bourbon before or anything else in the Buffalo Trace line, let them know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciated. Have a good one.